All right, we're taking a look at this article called Music Scores, and we're going to answer some questions about it. We are only going to do questions one through eight. So let's take a look at the questions first so we can figure out what we're looking for. Number one, which parts of the brain does making music tap into? I'm going to highlight parts of the brain in music. What is a possible effect of learning to play music? So possible effect of learning to play music. Playing music most likely has an impact on a person's brain. What evidence from the text supports this conclusion? So I'm going to highlight the word evidence. We're looking for evidence that supports the statement before it that playing music most likely has an impact on a person's brain. One of these will give evidence to that statement. Number four, what is one positive effect from that listening to music may have on people? So again, we're looking for one positive effect, that listening to music. What is the main idea of the text? Main idea, what was this whole text about? Number six, read these statements, these sentences from the text. UCLA examined the test scores of 25,000 students in grades 8 to 12 over a period of 10 years. Researchers found that students with a high interest in instrumental music scored higher in math, no how, than did others. Based on these sentences, what does the word examine mean? So I'm going to highlight examine here, and I'm also going to highlight the word examine in here. Number seven, choose the answer that best completes the sentence. The parts of the brain that are busy with listening to music are the same parts that become active when hearing one's own private song. Blink, it is possible that these regions of the brains make up those private songs when none are available. So we need to figure out what word best belongs there. And then number eight, what do some people hear when they experience musical hallucinations? So I'm going to highlight musical hallucinations. That's what we're looking for in the text. So let's go ahead and read now that we've looked at the questions. Here we go. Got music? Learning to play music is linked to improved academic test scores. More than 200 second graders were studied. Some were trained on keyboard piano and math software. Others used only the software. After six months, the piano players scored higher on math tests. It seemed that making music taps into the parts of the brain involved with reasoning, says researchers. So I'm going to underline right here, improved academic test scores, and put a plus. There's a positive about listening to music. Um, piano players scored higher. There's another positive. I'm going to put a little plus there. Um, and then a lot of our questions revolved around the brain and parts of the brain, so I'm going to highlight this last sentence. It seems that making music taps into parts of the brain involved with reasoning. So let's keep going. Musical middle and high school students score well too. The College Entrance Examination Board compared students with no music background to student musicians. Students in music programs scored 63 points higher on verbal and 44 points higher on math. So I'm going to highlight that too, or underline it, and put another plus because there's another positive about listening to music. UCLA examined the test scores of 25,000 students in grades 8 to 12 over a period of 10 years. Researchers found that students with a high interest in instrumental music scored higher in math know-how than others did. So again, another positive about music. Can't get that song out of my head. Do you want some baby back ribs? Is it a small world after all? Give me a break? Some advertising jingles and songs really stick with you. The sheer re repetition of the words and music has something to do with it. But musicians are even more likely to have a hard time getting a tune out of their heads. Doctors say that's because musicians' brains are hooked in a special way. So I'm going to put song in head. Some people are really wired for sound. 
psychologists have even identified a condition in which people experience musical hallucinations. I'm going to highlight that. I know that's something that we're supposed to be looking for. These hallucinations cause people to hear songs playing in their heads. Many times the tunes are familiar. Other times they're new. Composers report experienced piping in sounds before creating their masterpieces. The parts of the mind that are busy with listening to music are the same that become active when hearing your own private song. So it could be that the regions of the brain search for a song and make their own when none is available. I'm going to highlight that too because a lot of our questions are about the brain. So here's where that musical hallucinations is when you need to answer number eight. Operation song. You see super cool TV surgeons cranking the tunes while they work. Do you ever wonder if the music had any effect on patients? Researchers wondered, so they put patients and music to the test. A team of researchers studied groups. Hmm, sorry. A team of researchers studied groups of surgery patients. All patients had parts of their bodies numbered. They were all given a device to control the amount of pain relieving sedative they received. All were awake through the process. The patients were divided into three categories. One group brought their favorite CDs and listened through headphones. The second group heard white noise or background noise meant to drown out other sounds. The last group heard only operating room noise. The result? Patients who listened to music used less sedation. Those who listened to their favorite songs were calmer. The effect may be because the music blocked out the noises of the operating room, says the doctors. I'm going to highlight that even though it's already bolded. That tells us right here, sedation is what you use um, if you're getting surgery or something, so that way you don't feel the pain. Um, if they were listening to their own music, they didn't need as much pain medicine because they weren't experiencing as much pain. So that's interesting. I'm going to put pain here. Okay, you're now ready to answer the questions. I'm going to read the questions for you, give you some think time to answer them, and then you can go ahead and put them up on Kidum. So number one, which parts of the brain does making music tap into? The parts involved with advertising, the parts involved with reasoning, the parts involved with moving, or the parts involved with sleeping. Number two, what is a possible effect of learning to play music? wanting some baby back ribs, having parts of your body numbered, getting a tune out of your head, improving your academic test scores. Playing music most likely has an impact on a person's brain. What evidence from the text supports this conclusion? Musicians are even more likely to have a hard time getting a tune out of their heads. Doctors say that's because musicians' brains are hooked up in a special way. The College Entrance Examination Board compared students with no music background to student musicians. In the absence of music, some people hear songs playing in their heads. Many times the tunes are familiar, other times they're new. Did you ever wonder if the music had any effect on patients in surgery? Researchers wondered, so they put patients and music to the test. Number four, what is one positive effect that listening to music may have on people? It may help people, students perform better on social studies exams. It may help students perform better on physical tasks. It may help patients in surgery stay calmer or use less sedation. It may help surgeons perform difficult operations more quickly. Number five, what is the main idea of this text? Playing and listening to music can affect a person in many ways. More than 200 second graders were trained to play the piano. A team of researchers studied groups of surgery patients. Some people hear songs playing in their heads even in the absence of music. Number six, read these statements from the text. UCLA examined the test scores of 25,000 students in grades 8 to 12 over a period of 10 years. Researchers found that students with a high interest in instrumental music scored higher in math know-how than others did. Based on these sentences, what does the word examine mean? To change or adjust slightly? To copy or imitate? To study closely or carefully? To increase or improve? Number seven, choose the answer that best completes the sentence. The parts of the brain that are busy with listening to music are the same parts that become active when hearing one's own private song. 
blank, it is possible that these regions of the brain make up those private songs when none are available. And number eight, what do some people hear when they experience musical hallucinations?